Hey Pirates, welcome back to another edition of Pirate News, the homecoming edition. Hey Pirates, let's look at some memories from 2021 homecoming. Monday, October 11th is regular day schedule. There will be no late start. Wednesday, October 13th will be PSAT testing. It will be minimum day schedule with 8.30 a.m. start time and 12.30 p.m. dismissal. Hey, Pirates, take a look at this aerial map. I want to show you three locations where we are passing out grab-and-go breakfasts. The first is the field house. The second is the main gate. And the third is out by Contreras Street. Now, here's six locations where you guys can grab lunch. Uh, right over there by the gym, in the cafeteria, uh, over by the main office building, over by the Career Counseling Center, uh, over by Mary Lash Lane, and then out there in the plaza. Also inside the cafe, uh, they serve special items such as nachos, barbecue, hot dog hamburgers, chili cheese fries, carnitas or beef tacos, and much more. Uh, please stop in, guys. On Friday, wear pink to support the breast cancer awareness at the football game. Hey seniors, 22. let's hear a word from our college counselor. Hi seniors, welcome back. As you all know, it is officially college app season. Uh, as many of your seniors have probably come into the College and Career Center already. Um, we're looking forward to helping you, supporting you throughout this entire season. Um, if you are still needing help after you come and meet with us, please feel free to stop by. Um, our schedule is going to be on the, our college and career website. All you're going to need if you want to come in during your class period is a note from your teacher to make sure it's okay. Also, I forgot to mention, don't forget the UC and the CSU application deadline is November 30th. So please, seniors, we're going to try our best to make sure that you have it done before Thanksgiving. That way you can enjoy your holiday. If you have any pictures from homecoming, there's a QR code and a link on Schoology or on the yearbook's Instagram at phsyearbook21 underscore 22 where you can submit your best homecoming pictures and you can get a chance to be featured in the yearbook. The last day to submit pictures is October 8th. Hey guys, reminder all black student meetings are doing lunch every Thursday in the practice gym. Did you know? The homecoming tradition originally started in universities to welcome back alumni to their home universities. Many universities claim to host the first homecoming, including Missouri, Illinois, Baylor, and Southern Western, all in the early 1900s. Now you know. Hey Pirates. hey Pirates! Join us this Friday for the pink out game and wear your pinkest attire. There are no backpacks allowed, skateboards, outside food, and no entry into the game. Clear see-through backpacks are allowed. All underclassmen that are in 10th and 11th grade who did not show up to the registration and take your yearbook picture, makeups will be next week 
during lunch in room 151. Come dress to impress. Now it's time for sports. Hey Pirates, last Friday Varsity Football played Linwood and 147-0. Today Varsity Football is going against Downey High. Come out and support at the Pirate Stadium. Don't forget Pirates wear pink. Also, baseball tryouts on Monday, October 11th at 3.45 after school. Now let's hear some words from our dean. My name is Mr. Villasenor, Assistant Principal here in the Resource Center. I want to introduce you guys, our two deans, Ms. Calero Hill and Ms. Pardo. Nice to meet you. I'm Ms. Pardo and I'm one of your Dean of Students. I just want to share with you guys that we have implemented the tardy policy, which means that if you're one minute, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, 15 minutes late, late is late and tardy is tardy. Once you guys reach to five tardies in any of your classrooms or all together, no matter which classroom you're in, just expect to get assigned a Saturday intervention from 8.30 to 12.30 p.m. If you should decide not to attend a Saturday intervention, we may start looking into other losses of privileges, such as probably taking away sporting events from you from attending, dances, and if you're a senior, some senior activities. So just know that being on time is the best thing you can do for yourself here with us. I have some news for you. We have Saturday Intervention. Saturday Intervention is a program where you students come to Saturday from 8.30 to 12.30 and this program is targeted for students who have multiple tardies. Yes. So if you have five tardies or more, you will be invited to come to Saturday Intervention. We will have an intervention teacher there to assist you with your assignments, review each one of your grades in your classes and guide you to what assignments you should be focused on. So we can bring up those grades. Remember, quarter grades just came out. This is Pardo back again to talk to you guys about the electronic device policy that we've also implemented. Just know that you should not be using your electronic devices in class without your teacher's permission. They should only be used for learning purposes. If a teacher asks you to put it away, please put it away. If you get more than two verbal warnings, your device will get confiscated and be sent to the resource center here with us at the Dean's. So if that is the case, you can come pick it up after school. If you continue to misuse your electronic devices in class. It'll be confiscated again, and then your parents have to personally come and pick up your device here with us. Ongoing problems with this will just also result in possible Saturday intervention or loss of privileges, as mentioned before, for the TARDI policies, such as not attending sporting events, not being allowed to go to any of our dances or things of that nature, and for our, I'm sorry, for our seniors, any senior activities that we may have in place for you. Thank you so much, and we hope you follow the rules. Hey Pirates, welcome back to another edition of PMZ. Who got a story for me? Ooh! Mmm, you! I heard there was a fight at homecoming. Golly, cat fight gone wrong. Alright, who has another story for me? Ooh! Mmm, you! I hear there's a student who thinks she's better than Serena Williams. Are you Serena William? Yeah, I could play better with my eyes closed. So that was another story for me. Oh! Mmm, you! I heard the deans were mad dogging each other at homecoming. What you looking at? You should have done a staring contest with him. Alright, pirates, those are some great stories. Go out there and get some more. And now the jokes of the week. Why was Tigger looking in the toilet? I don't know. Why? Because he was trying to find poo! <laughs> What was the last thing my grandpa told me before he bucket? I don't know. What? How far do you think I could kick this bucket? <laughs> how do you stop a baby astronaut from crying? I don't know. How? You rock it. <laughs> and, and that's, that's the joke of the week. <laughs> Hey, mister, can I please have a cheeseburger? Oh, 
excuse me, this is a library. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Can I please have a cheeseburger? That's a lot better. Here's your cheeseburger. Would you like some sauce with that? Yes. Yes, please. Do you have tapatio? Hey, how was the game? It was all right. Uh, but how's the dance? Uh, bye bye. I don't want to talk about it. Hey, Pirates, I wrote up another edition of Pirate News. See you guys next week.